Hey, Mo Norman said something I thought was really interesting and very important. He said, I flow with my alignment. Today, I wanna to talk about what he meant and how you can line up in a more natural way. So one of the things I see people, I call it a mistake, but people do things differently. One of the things I think that keeps people restricted and maybe over confines their th thinking and their alignment at targets on the golf course is getting too target oriented. Now, I, I believe you need to aim at targets. Don't get me wrong. I think targets are obviously the most important part of playing golf. However, I think there's a proper way to think about alignment to a target. And Mo would say, I flow with my alignment because and here's what he meant by that. When I have a, a driver lined up here and I'm, I'm lined up down the right side of this fairway. And so you'll notice that I have the lines on the ball lined up where I need them aligned. And, and I'm gonna pick a spot out maybe a couple feet in front of the golf ball. So there's a couple things I've done to help me orient myself to my target line. Having said that, when I set up to the ball and I get in here to hit this shot and I orient my body, then I got to let it go. And so I've done the work, I've done the pre, uh, the, I've, I've aligned correctly, I've set my body up correctly, and then I have to make a natural motion that hits the golf ball squarely. Well, the mistake I, th I see people make is they try to control the direction of the ball and they get caught up in things like, what part of the ball do I look at? Do I keep my head still? Um, do, I, do I have to pick a spot out there in the fairway? And the answer is no, because let's say, let's say I wanna get focused on that tree that's on the right side of the fairway down there. That's my line, because the wind's gonna knock it to the left. All I need to do is line the ball up to that line or pick a spot. All I need to do is orient my upper body to that line, get set up, and I'm ready to go. I don't need to focus on that tree. Does that make sense? I don't need to sit here and go, okay, I need to make sure that ball goes towards that tree. See, people, Mo, Mo would call it, they would, they would stare and stall. They, they, would, they, would, they would try to manipulate the ball towards the target. And what create, it, creates, it creates restriction. Let me give you a little bit of, of data here. You know, when you think, it takes, it takes so much time for you to have a thought and transfer that thought into an action. Well, your swing is pretty fast. And by the time you've thought something, your swing has already occurred. You don't have time to think. If you're trying to think in the middle of your swing, you're going to interrupt the process. And there's plenty of studies that show you that there's no way you can think faster and your body can move. So you've got to let it go. And so what I want you to do, do as far as playing golf is I want you to learn to let it go. How do you learn to do that? Well, you basically get it right here. This is where you get everything right. So you line up correctly you set everything up correctly. And now, because I've already got the ball lined up, I've already oriented my body and I've got set up correctly, I want you to just let her go. And so, if that, if you're solid at address and you've oriented correctly, letting it go, it should go to your target line because you've solved all your problems right here and just let it go. I don't want you to manipulate and that's the way you're gonna naturally be able to flow. That's what Mo talked about. I'm flowing with my alignment because once I line up correctly, I just let it go and I flow with that. That's what he meant. Don't try to manipulate. Don't try to get the club to go to the target. Don't try to square the face. Set up, orient, let it go. Hope that helps. Give me a thumbs up, click the bell icon, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.